When should you use your fog lamps while driving in foggy conditions in the UK? A. Only at night. B. When visibility is reduced to less than 100 meters. C. When visibility is reduced to less than 500 meters. D. At all times during foggy conditions. Answer. B. When visibility is reduced to less than 100 meters. In the UK, how can you identify pedestrians with specific disabilities based on the items they carry or the color of their service dog's collar and lead? A. A pedestrian with a green collar and lead on their dog is blind. B. A pedestrian carrying a white stick with a red band is deaf. C. A pedestrian with a dog wearing a bright orange collar and lead is deaf. D. A pedestrian carrying a white stick with a blue band is blind and deaf. Answer. C. A pedestrian with a dog wearing a bright orange collar and lead is deaf. Which of the following pedestrian crossings in the UK is not controlled by traffic lights? A. Puffing crossing. B. Pelican crossing. C. Zebra crossing. D. Toucan crossing. Answer. C. Zebra crossing. What is the correct sequence of lights for a pelican crossing in the UK? A. Red, green, amber, flashing amber, red. B. Red, flashing amber, green, amber, red. C. Green, amber, red, flashing amber, red. D. Flashing amber, green, amber, red, red. Answer. B. Red, flashing amber, green, amber, red. Which age groups of pedestrians are especially vulnerable when crossing the road in the UK, necessitating heightened vigilance from drivers? A. Individuals under 15 and over 60 years of age. B. Individuals under 18 and over 55 years of age. C. Only women and seniors. D. All pedestrians, regardless of their age. Answer. A. Individuals under 15 and over 60 years of age. If you are traveling downhill and encounter a large heavy vehicle traveling uphill with an obstruction on its side of the road, what should you do? A. Slow down and proceed with caution. B. Flash your lights to let the lorry know to move aside. C. You should give way to the lorry. D. Continue on your path since you have the right of way. Answer. C. You should give way to the lorry. When driving on a humpback bridge in rural UK, what should you consider doing to alert other road users of your presence? A. Flashing your headlights repeatedly. B. Using your horn, particularly if the road is narrow. C. Increasing your speed to cross the bridge quickly. D. Turning on your fog lamps. Answer. B. Using your horn particularly if the road is narrow. What should the safe distance be when you are following a large vehicle like a lorry or double-decker bus in the UK, even when traveling slowly? A. Keep as close as possible for better visibility. B. Keep a distance of at least 2 meters. C. Always keep well back, regardless of your speed. D. Maintain a distance equal to the size of the large vehicle. Answer. C. Always keep well back, regardless of your speed. Where should drivers be particularly cautious of motorcyclists when driving in slow-moving queues of traffic? A. At junctions, as they often jump the queue. B. In between lanes, as they may ride between them. C. On pavements, as they may ride there to avoid the queue. D. In the opposite lane, as they may try to overtake. Answer, B, in between lanes, as they may ride between them. How should you handle an intersection where the traffic lights have failed according to UK driving regulations? A, treat it as a roundabout and give way to the right. B, treat it as an unmarked crossroad, slow down, look both ways and be prepared to stop. C, the first vehicle to reach the intersection has the right of way. D. The largest vehicle has the right of way. Answer. B. Treat it as an unmarked crossroad, slow down, 
look both ways and be prepared to stop. What can be used to help determine if it's safe to emerge from a junction when visibility is reduced? A. Reflective surfaces on buildings or other objects. B. Flashing your headlights to alert other drivers. C. Asking a passenger to check for you. D. Speeding up to merge quickly. Answer. A. Reflective surfaces on buildings or other objects. In a two-wheel drive vehicle, how are the non-driven wheels moved? A. They are pushed or pulled along by the driven wheels. B. They are moved by the vehicle's suspension system. C. They are moved by a separate electric motor. D. They are moved by the rotation of the driven wheels. Answer. A. They are pushed or pulled along by the driven wheels. If you passed your driving test before the 1st of January, 1997, up to what combined weight can you drive a vehicle towing a trailer if you are over 21 years old? A. 7.5 tons. B. 8.25 tons. C. 9.25 tons. D. 10.25 tons. Answer. B. 8.25 tons. What does the breakaway cable do if the trailer and towing vehicle become separated? A. It sounds an alarm. B. It disconnects the trailer lights. C. It applies the brakes to the trailer. D. It reattaches the trailer to the vehicle. Answer. C. It applies the brakes to the trailer. What does the road sign with a P over a car on a raised verge on a blue background represent? A. You can park your car partially on the verge or footpath. B. You can park your car fully on the verge or footpath. C. Passenger vehicle parking only. D. The verge or footpath is designated for pedestrians only. Answer. B. You can park your car fully on the verge or footpath. What does the arrow sign with a P plus and a silhouette of a bus on a blue background indicate? A. You must park your vehicle and take a bus. B. There is a bus station nearby. C. Only buses are allowed to park in this area. D. An area where a park and ride system is in operation. Answer. D. An area where a park and ride system is in operation. What do countdown markings on the approach to a concealed railway crossing signify? A. The number of trains passing per hour. B. The speed limit in hundreds of feet. C. The distance to the stop line in hundreds of feet. D. The number of tracks at the crossing. Answer. C. The distance to the stop line in hundreds of feet. What is the purpose of ZZ School Keep Clear ZZ Road Markings? A. To mark a school zone. B. To prevent drivers from waiting or parking in the area where school children cross. C. To indicate a pedestrian crossing. D. To warn drivers about the presence of a nearby school and speed limit. Answer. B. To prevent drivers from waiting or parking in the area where school children cross. Which organizations run first aid courses that you can attend? A. The Automobile Association and Royal Automobile Club. B. St. John's Ambulance Brigade and the British Red Cross Society. C. The Royal Society for the Prevention of Accidents and Break. D. The Department for Transport and Highways Agency. Answer. B. St. John's Ambulance Brigade and the British Red Cross Society offer courses in first aid. When going uphill, why might you need to change to a lower gear? A. To save fuel. B. To give you more power as the engine has to work harder. C. To maintain the car's current speed. D. To make the car go slower. Answer. B. To give you more power as the engine has to work harder. What should you do if you are unsure whether it is clear behind your vehicle before reversing? A. Continue to reverse slowly. B. Honk your horn to warn others. C. Get out and have a look. D. Ask a passenger to check. Answer. C. Get out and have a look.
When reversing, what should you be prepared to do in relation to other traffic? A. Always give way. B. Signal them to stop. C. Speed up to finish reversing quickly. D. Assume they will give way to you. Answer. A. Always give way. Can a careful and alert driver always prevent an accident? A. Yes, a careful driver can always prevent accidents. B. No, there are rare occasions when even the most careful driver can do little to prevent an accident. C. Only if they're driving in perfect weather conditions. D. Yes, but only if they have advanced driving skills. Answer. B. No. There are rare occasions when even the most careful driver can do little to prevent an accident. What does the ABC procedure for dealing with unconscious accident victims stand for? A. Airway, breath, check vitals. B. Airway, breathing, circulation. C. Anomaly, breathing, cardio. D. Alert, breathing, check. Answer. B. Airway. Breathing, circulation. What should you do first if a casualty is unconscious according to the ABC procedure? A. Apply firm pressure over the wound. B. Check the casualty's pulse. C. Clear the airway of any obstructions. D. Lift the chin and tilt the head gently backwards. Answer. C. Clear the airway of any obstructions. Always check your mirrors well before. A. Signaling. B. Changing speed. C. Changing direction. D. Turning on headlights. E. Crossing the rail tracks. Answer. Option A, B, C. Which of these instruments are commonly found on the instrument panel? A. The oil filter. B. The carburetor. C. The speedometer. D. The radiator. E. Fuel gauge. Answer. C. The speedometer and E. Fuel gauge. Which of the following are common warning lights found in most cars? A. The car wash light. B. All warning light. C. The parking brake light. D. The fuel filter light. E. Indicator lights. Answers. B. All warning light and C. The parking brake light. The water flows through spaces around the end of the engine to the radiator. A. Cylinders. B. Pistons. C. Valves. D. Out of the top. E. Out of the side. Answers. A. Cylinders. C. Valves and D. Out of the top of the engine to the radiator.